السلام علیکم 6 پی ایم دس از ریڈیو پاکستان دا نیوز ریڈ بائی سمیرا کامل فرسٹ ہیڈ لائنس پاک افغان جوائنٹ ورکنگ گروپ ہیلڈ اٹس فرسٹ میٹنگ ان کابل ٹوڈے ایٹ وچ پاکستان ارج افغانستان ٹو انگیج ان کنکریٹ کارپوریشن راد ریزارٹنگ ٹو بلیم گیم U.S. Defense Department says the United States is not planning to conduct any military operations inside Pakistan. The process of obtaining nomination papers for Senate elections has started in Sindh and Balochistan. The Chief Justice has expressed the resolve to protect democracy and said that the judiciary is subservient to the laws framed by the Parliament. Pakistan Maritime Security Agency has arrested 47 Indian fishermen and seized nine launches. A UN panel of experts has found evidence that North Korea is extended cooperation to Syria and Myanmar to develop its ballistic missile and chemical weapons. Pakistan won Davis Cup Asia Oceania Group 1 tie beating South Korea in the doubles contest by 4-0 in Islamabad today. And now the news in detail. Foreign Secretary Tahmina Janjua says both Pakistan and Afghanistan should engage in concrete cooperation instead of resorting to blame game. She made these remarks during a meeting of Pak Afghan joint working groups in Kabul today. The Foreign Secretary strongly condemned recent terror attacks in Kabul and offered a joint investigation into the attacks. Pakistan also urged the Afghan government to take action against anti-Pakistan terrorists. Pakistani side also emphasized the need for strengthening border management on the Afghan side. U.S. Joint Staff Director Lieutenant General Kenneth McKenzie says Washington has assured Islamabad that the United States is not planning to conduct any military operations inside Pakistan. At a news briefing at Pentagon, he said that American strategy is inherently regional and Pakistan is geographically located at a critical nexus, while Islamabad is a fundamental part of the strategy. He said, we'll look into gain Pakistani cooperation and assistance as we pursue operations in Afghanistan, but we are not planning to conduct military operations inside Pakistan. On the other hand, Pentagon Chief Spokesperson Dana White said the strategy has created an opportunity for Pakistan to cooperate with the United States in defeating the terrorists operating in the region. Defense Minister Khuram Dastagir says China-Pakistan economic corridor is a game changer for Pakistan and the entire region and nobody will be allowed to make it controversial. In an interview, he said relations between China and Pakistan are unique of its kind. We have blood-to-blood -blood and generation-to-generation -generation relations with each other. We want that relations between two countries should progress more and should be stronger like iron. He said economic activities have gained momentum due to improved security situation and decline in terrorist incidents. The minister said Pakistan's soft image is emerging economy has also improved. Interior Minister Ehsan Iqbal says Pakistan is a rising count as the successes are being recognized by the international community. He was talking to media men at Multan today after the NHA briefing on Multan Sakkar motorway project. He said significant improvement has been witnessed in the law and order situation of the country. The minister said that CPAC was only piece of paper which has now been developed as a reality and billions of rupees have been invested in the project. Ehsan Iqbal said that the China-Pakistan economic corridor is a game changer and Pakistan will be a regional hub of trade. Referring to huge investment under the CPAC, he said that billions of dollars are being spent on improving the country's energy sector. Minister for Railways Khwaja Saad Rafiq says railways deficit has been controlled through effective financial discipline. Speaking to media men in Multan today, he said PMLN respects judiciary and it had also waged to struggle for its restoration. Khwaja Saad Rafiq said PMLN will continue to strive for supremacy of the constitution. He said confrontation among the institutions is not in the interest of Pakistan. The process of obtaining nomination papers by candidates for Senate elections has started in Sindh. 
Public Relation Officer of Sindh Election Commission, Yasser Hamid Mughal, informed our Karachi correspondent, Altaf Pizado, that so far seven candidates have obtained nomination papers. Meanwhile, Provincial Election Commissioner Punjab has issued a public notice for Senate election from Lahore today. On the other hand, the Election Commission of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa has finalized arrangements for holding Senate election on 11 seats. In Quetta, the process of receiving nomination papers by the candidates for the Senate upcoming elections also started today. The polling for Senate elections will be held on 3rd of next month. Chief Justice Mia Saqib Nisar has expressed the resolve to protect democracy. Addressing the meeting of National Judicial Policy Making Committee in Islamabad today, he said he will never allow derailment of democratic system. Conceding that the judiciary made some mistakes in the past, the Chief Justice said that in order to move forward, the institution will have to hold itself accountable as well. The Chief Justice said that judges should serve the masses with passion and honesty and without any fear. The Chief Justice said that constitution is a supreme document whilst Parliament, which frames laws, is the supreme institution. He said we are subservient to the laws formulated by the Parliament. He said the judges should have full grasp over the laws. This is Radio Pakistan. Pakistan Maritime Security Agency has arrested 47 Indian fishermen and seized nine launches. According to PMSA, the Indian launches have been confiscated on violating Pakistan's coastal territory. PMSA vessels and fast attack boats took part in an open sea operation for the purpose. The arrested fishermen have been handed over to docks police for further legal proceeding and investigation. In occupied Kashmir, the joint resistance leadership has said that forcing the Kashmiris into submission by using dictatorial and oppressive means is a one day dream of Indian leaders and their Kashmiri stooges. The resistance leadership comprising Sayyid Ali Gilani, Mirwais Umar Farooq and Muhammad Yasin Malik in a statement in Sirinagar strongly condemned the use of force by the puppet authorities to prevent a peaceful march towards Shopia town yesterday. The United Nations says North Korea is flouting UN sanctions by exporting coal, iron, steel and other commodities banned under UN sanctions. A UN report said that North Korea continues to export almost all commodities prohibited in the resolutions, generating nearly $200 million in revenue. A UN panel of experts also found evidence of North Korea's ongoing military cooperation with Syria to develop its ballistic missile and chemical weapons programs and also with Myanmar. The report said coal shipments were delivered to China, Malaysia, South Korea, Russia, Vietnam by ship using a combination of multiple evasion techniques, routes and deceptive tactics. Senior Democrats have warned President Donald Trump not to use a controversial memo as a pretext to fire the special counsel investigating alleged Russian involvement in the U.S. election. They warned that such action could trigger a constitutional crisis not seen since the Nixon era. The memo written by Republicans accuses the FBI of abusing its powers. Pakistan won the Davis Cup Asia Oceana Group 1 tie, beating South Korea in the doubles contest by 4-0 at Pakistan Sports Complex today. Esam and Akil beat their South Korean rivals Su Woon Kwon and Lim Yong Kayo 7-6-6-4-8-6 in the doubles to claim a 3-0 win in the tie. The FIFA World Cup trophy has arrived in Lahore for public display. Former French World Cup winner Christian Karambu, former Pakistan's T20 World Cup winning skipper Yunus Khan and other top local figures brought the trophy on a special chartered flight from Thailand to Pakistan. The trophy will remain in Lahore for a day where it will be put on public display at a park during an ongoing festival. Later, the trophy will be taken to Almaty, Almaty Kazakhstan. And finally, the weather. Mainly cold and dry weather is expected in most parts of the country during the next 12 hours. However, light rain with snowfall over the hills is expected at a few places in Malakan Division and Gilgit, Baltistan. To repeat the headlines, here are... World Cup had its first meeting in Kabul today at which Pakistan urged Afghanistan to engage in concrete cooperation rather resorting to blame game. U.S. Defense Department says the United States is not planning to conduct any military operations inside Pakistan. 
The process of obtaining nomination papers for Senate elections has started in Sindh and Balochistan. The Chief Justice has expressed the resolve to protect democracy and said that judiciary is subservient to the laws framed by the Parliament. Pakistan Maritime Security Agency has arrested 47 Indian fishermen and seized nine launches. A UN panel of experts has found evidence that, now, that North Korea is extending cooperation to Syria and Myanmar to develop its ballistic missile and chemical weapons. Pakistan won Davis Cup Asia Oceania Group 1 tie beating South Korea in the doubles contest by 4-0 in Islamabad today. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analyses, log on to our website, radio.gov.pk. And also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash radio.